My topic is design and analysis of a passive residual heat removal system for Oak Ridge National Laboratory 10 megawatt modern salt reactor. My content consists of five aspects. Uh, first is to introduce the, uh, the motivation and goal, then give a description of the design of the passive residual heat removal system. The third part is to introduce the mathematical model used in the system, then analysis of the system parameters I introduced, uh, and finally give the conclusions. Uh, firstly, talk about the motivation and goal. Uh, the passive safety conception is increasingly used in the design of reactor power plants to enhance the safety and to simplify the system design. For example, the AP-1000 reactor, um, it uses a passive heat removal system to remove heat when serious accidents occur. The process inherent automated safety reactor and uh, economic simplified boiling water reactor as a representative of boiling water reactor. The former utilizes density lock to transfer heat. Uh, as for the latter, um, the key features are that uh, it uses natural circulation during normal operation and a passive safety system to remove the decay heat. The modern salt reactor uh, is ideal for inherent safety and uh, radioactive waste and it has a different way to remove the decay heat, but uh, it used the forced circulation in the earlier study and uh, may not meet the requirements for today's reactor. Uh, so the goal is to design a passive residual heat removal system based on the simplification and the cost saving, and the cooling capacity is 100 kilowatt. Uh, now I will give a description of the design of the passive residual heat removal system. The schematic of the system is shown. Uh, the system com consists of uh, a drain tank, a steam drum, an air cooler, a feed water tank, a uh, valve, as well as the corresponding pipes, uh, the heat exchange tube uh, in the drain tank is also shown. The structure of the, um, of the tube is shown. Um, the bayonet is inserted in the symbol and the tube inside of each bayonet serves as the downcomer for the feed water. Uh, there are two circulations in the loop. Uh, first one is in the heat exchange tube. Uh, feed water flows into the downcomer and the steam is generated in the surrounding annulus. Uh, the saturated steam water mixture is discharged into the steam drum where water is separated and recycles to the tube. Um, the air cooler condenses the air from the steam drum and returns the condensate uh, by gravity uh, to the steam drum. And the chimney uh, enhances the natural circulation flow and the heat is finally transferred to the atmosphere. Uh, then I will say something about the regulation. Uh, value is the regulation. The reason is that the salt should be maintained in a molten condition to ensure the safety of the reactor. Uh, initially, the decay power and the cooling power are nearly the same uh, in, in the design. But during the early operation, as the decay power decreases rapidly, while the heat dissipation is still high, resulting in the quick drop of the salt temperature. Uh, when the decay heat generation is low, in order to keep the balance with the heat dissipation, uh, the water level in the steam drum uh, may be adjusted to take one half of the symbols out of service. Uh, how can it be realized? 
uh, it's because that uh, the entrance openings of the symbols have two kinds of elevation and they alternate in adjacent symbols. Mm. When the system run up to a certain time, uh, regulate the three-way valve and uh, make the condensate flows into the feed water tank and not back into the steam drum. So the water level in the steam drum lowers and uh, when it decreases to a certain heat, Mm, the water will not flow into the tube uh, whose entrance openings is here. So half of the symbols work and the cooling capacity uh, falls to half. Uh, when the regulation process ends, uh, readjust the three-way valve. Uh, then introduce the mathematical model used in the system. Uh, in the symbol, uh, between the bayonet wall and the symbol wall is the gas space. Uh, conduction and the radiation is the, is, the, is the way to transfer the heat. Uh, and uh, in the bayonet annulus, uh, boiling occurs and the steam generates. So leather, leatheric black method is used to calculate the convective heat transfer coefficient. Mm, as for the air cooler, uh, in horizontal pipe, uh, con condensation occurs and the coefficient of the condensation uh, is calculated by Eckers formula. Uh, the formula is shown. Uh, free convective occurs on the tube outside. A uh, modified brakes correlation is used to calculate the brake convection uh, coefficient. Uh, then I will talk about the procedures of the program. Uh, the program, uh, the known value is that the decay power is 100 kilowatt and the pressure of the system is the one bar initially. Uh, to simplify, uh, assumptions are made that the loops can be taken as one-dimensional flow and the heat losses in the piping are negligible. Uh, there are three steps uh, in the program. The first step is to calculate the parameters uh, in the drain tank loop. Mm. By analyzing the natural circulation, uh, the parameters uh, such as mass flow rate of condensate, um, mass flow rate of steam and water, uh, heat uh, transfer rate, uh, such par parameters are got. Uh, then the, the second step is to calculate the air cooler loop. Uh, for there is the driving hand and the resistance are nearly the same. So the parameters such as the mass flow rate of condensate and the pressure change in the air cooler and the heat and the heat outlet rate, uh, such parameters are got. Uh, then the third the third step is to compare the Mm, mass flow rate of steam uh, flows in and out of steam drum. Uh, for there is the uh, mass conversation and the energy conversation existing in the steam drum, and the pressure and the system pressure are calculated and be looked at the initial value next moment. Then repeat the procedures and. Uh, Got the parameters. Mm. By regulating the characteristic of a passive residual heat removal system is get um, system pressure and mass flow rate. Um, the initial value the initial value of pressure is about one bar, and reaching to its maximum value one point one bar at uh, 880 seconds due to the insufficient of the air cooler in the beginning. Then it drops slowly and is around 
0.46 bar when regulating the water level. Um, afterwards, uh, the system pressure varies very slowly uh, as the steam generation rate is approximate to the steam condensation rate. Uh, the mass flow rate of steam drops with the decay heat decreasing and uh, declines to 0.12 kg per second as half of the symbols work. Uh, the mass flow rate of condensate is adapted to the mass flow rate of steam. Heat removal rate. Uh, the decay power is uh, 100 kW at first, and it declines to 30% at the initial of the initial value in 30 hours. Uh, heat removal rate of the drain tank decreases all along, and the maximum value is 107.8 uh, kW. Uh, the power of the air cooler just uh, increases to 106.2 kW after the system actuated, and then the cooling power decreases gradually. Um, both, of the, both the power of uh, the drain tank and the air cooler are lower than the uh, decay power after regulation. Temperature of the molten salt. Uh, the initial temperature is uh, 936 Kelvin and the melting point of the salt is 722 Kelvin. Temperature of the molten salt declines to 756 Kelvin in 11 hours uh, when the heat removal capacity is weakened during the regulation. The temperature rises from 748.2 Kelvin to uh, 756.8 Kelvin. Uh, then the temperature drops. Uh, 32 hours are required uh, to make the temperature decline to the melting point. So after 30 hours operation, um, the system should be closed. Um, the water level in the steam drum is 0 0.15 initially. Um, the level remains unchanged essentially and decreases in the act of regulating. Mm. After the process of regulating, uh, the water level stays unvaried again. Uh, by analysis, uh, the conclusions are got that the heat removal capacity of the air cooler is a little larger than the drain tank. Both of them exceed the decay power before regulating the water level in the steam drum and the reverse after half of the symbols out of service. Mm, the pressure of the steam drum decreases quickly after the operation of the heat removal system while changes very slowly after regulating the water level. Thank you. I have a question. So you, in the beginning of your talk, you have an assumption that you have a, a, the, the pipelines, you neglect all the heat uh, leakage from these pipelines. So have you ever estimate, uh, for example, you're using the real uh, parameter of the heat uh, transfer for all these pipelines. Is this really a very small amount of heat compared to the, your, your heat removal system? Uh, uh, in my design, uh, the, uh, the length of the pipe is, uh, is short, so the, uh, the heat can be, can be ne negligible. Is the insulate, is it heat, thermal insulate uh, uh, material uh, sliding out uh, of the, this, the pipe lines? Uh, you have something? To, to, to cause it, to prevent the heat loss of these pipelines. Even, even if it's a, not a very long uh, uh, pipeline, I know that, but if it's, uh, uh, you know, the pipelines are made of uh, alloy, so alloy is, is a very good thermal conductor. So uh, now it is uh, uh, shorter. Uh, after 
uh, in my later in my later calculation, uh, I will consider it.